Hey, Practicum, here comes week 10. Uh, starting out on Monday, March 31st, obviously we aren't going to have any um, of you out here, but Jordan will be doing the nature study for the first and second graders. But on Tuesday, we start our Wapaka Learning Centers, and so they come out in three different groups. Group 1 comes out Tuesday, Wednesday. Group 2 comes out Thursday, Friday and group three comes out the following week so we don't have to worry about them but for Tuesday Wednesday we have 65 students coming out for the day on Tuesday same students coming out for the day on Wednesday and they're going through that changing the land program so it's gonna be very busy with five field groups throughout that day Olivia and Scott are gonna drive two vehicles out on Tuesday morning so that there's one left over for the evening program we're meeting out at 8 in the morning we're going to go through all of our programs. Ashley is also going to be doing the nature study, so you've got that to prepare for too. And we've got uh, a different scenario for the evening program. So as soon as we end at 4 o'clock, we're going to have the trading post open, and we're also going to be responsible. Evening program staff will be responsible responsible for leading some games. And then at 4.30 we're going to get them inside Sunset Lodge for uh, Baffling Beaver's presentation with Olivia. After dinner, then, we have a very fast outdoor campfire with Olivia, Brittany, Ashley, and Molly's coming back out to assist with that, so I'll email her. Um, and then the evening program wraps up at 7 o'clock. Then those same students come out again on Wednesday, and they finish up their other two lessons that they didn't get, followed up with the Lumberjack Olympics at the end of the day. So again, we're meeting out at 8 a.m. in the morning. This time, Ashley will drive everyone out, and we will meet. Uh, we'll have a hot lunch that day still. Brianna's going to do the nature study program with the pre-K kindergarten students, so that should be fun for you. Um, and it is Jordan and I that will be out here that day. And then on Wednesday, we have the new group coming in, and they're going to be new students, only 44 of them, so it's just four field groups going through the five different programs. And we'll meet at 8 a.m. We'll have Brittany and Zach drive out so that Zach has a vehicle to get Scott and um, to get himself and Scott back in the evening. Amanda, um, Amanda Kyle and Brandon Trapp are going to be assisting with that evening program too at the campfire portion. But it'll be Zach leading Baffling Beavers, just like the day before um, or two days before where we had the program in Sunset Lodge and we were responsible for some games during that trading post time too. And then they're going to come back. Those students will be coming back on Friday when Jake comes out. So Jake will meet at 8 a.m. and we'll go through the last two lessons they didn't get, followed up with the Lumberjack Olympics with everyone um, assisting with that. So they get pioneers, digging up the past, early explorers, uh, Native Americans, and then they also get Cooperative Compass as their fifth lesson. So those are the five they're going through. Um, I think everybody's been assigned to who is the liaison and who they should be submitting their lesson preps to. But in terms of nature study for the week, we really need to focus on maple sugaring. So it can be anything about the maple sh about a maple sugaring program. You can go out and look at the trees that have been tapped. You can collect sap with them that's on the tree, on the buckets that are out there. I can assist you with some background information on that. But I just want you to focus on that, some games and songs related to um, maples and, and maple syruping. So um, I'll be able to hopefully give you some more information about that the, the week of that event. But um, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, that would be Ashley and Brianna when you're planning your programs. If anyone has any concerns, um, send them to me via email. Let's see, the only other thing would be what your goal is going to be for the week. Your week 10 goal is to stratify your questions to get to higher level thinking. So when you do your lesson plan and you're writing out your questions, think about how you can start with something like a simple question. For example, when you're doing a lake study lesson, you might ask them, is the water at the bottom of the lake hotter or colder than the top of the lake? That's a knowledge question. And then, do you think these temperature differences are the same year round? So now they have to apply that. And then, what weather conditions might change the temperature gradients? So then they apply more. And then you get to some analysis and eventually an evaluation question like, what are the implications for animals that live in a body of water without temperature gradients in the winter time? So you have to have a section in your lesson prep for stratifying questions. Um, building from a simple question to a more significant question. I would get three to four questions um, and try and highlight them special so that we know where it is that you're doing that. So that's what we're excited about to see for the week. Um, yeah, can't wait for it to happen. It'll be fun to start the Changing the Land lessons. I'll see you soon.